Coming off the previous training video, we learned how to customize themes and, in fact, download themes that were available for free from online Microsoft site. And what we want to do here is we want to learn how to save and delete those themes and also share them with other people. So to be able to do this, all you have to do is find a blank area somewhere on your desktop and right-click, go down to Personalize, and again, we're back to our themes. Up at the top, we've got our customized themes, and I've got three of them. I have my unsaved theme. And I went back to the dark color for my desktop background because my new theme looked a little bit too bright. In fact, I want to delete this theme. To delete the theme, all you have to do is right click on it and you get the delete option. But you cannot delete the current theme that's applied to your computer. Let me click off in a blank area. And you can see that this theme is applied because it's outlined or it's shaded in a light blue. So if I right click on it, all I can get is to be able to save this theme or save the theme for sharing, which we'll go over in just a second. So first of all, to delete a theme, make sure that it's not currently applied. So right click, delete it, yes, it's gone. And then to save a theme, well, you can see that I made some changes here and I haven't saved this theme yet. Of course, when I click save, as you just saw in the previous training video, it's gonna leave this the same, but save it as a new name. So if I come down here and go back to sounds, and I scroll down again, to empty recycle bin and I browse again for breaking glass here it pulled it up for me I didn't have to type it in there it is again double click on it and then go ahead and click OK and then when I'm done again making my changes click Save go ahead and give it a name it's my spiffy theme click Save and it saves it now I can come over here and go ahead and click on it to apply the spiffy theme and then I can come over here and right click the unsaved and delete it are you sure? Yes. Then I can minimize this down to the taskbar, and again, I have the sound of breaking glass when it comes to me emptying the recycle bin. So right click and left click on empty recycle bin. Of course, there's a lot of items, so are you sure you want to permanently delete them? Say yes. And there you go. So let me come back down here on the taskbar, click on the button to restore my personalization window. And then finally, if you want to be able to share your theme with others, and that includes all the four elements, if you have a lot of desktop background pictures as part of your theme, like for example, dogs in summer, you have quite a few pictures here. I've only got one picture, so it's not going to be that big of a file. Now, when it comes to sharing your themes, the only thing that you can share is the current active theme. So for example, if I right click on here, it says save theme for sharing. But if I right click on another one, all I can do is delete. So if I want to share this theme, I have to select it to activate it. Then I can right click and, again, get this menu here to either save the theme or save the theme for sharing. Aside from clicking over here, the save theme, you got two options here or here. But when I want to save it for sharing, go ahead and click on it. It opens up the window. I want to save it to my desktop. And notice down below it's going to save this as the type dot theme pack, the extension. Again, we learned about extensions in the extensions training video, but come up here and go ahead and give it a name and call it. And then when you're done, go ahead and click Save. And it saves, again, all of the pictures that come with that theme, including the color, the sounds, and the screen saver. So if you have a lot of pictures that are checked to rotate through as part of your desktop background, it's going to save with it. Of course, it's going to make it a huge file. For example, this is the current theme, right? When I come down here and click on the desktop background, I don't have any pictures, right? It's just a solid color. Let me go ahead and click back. When I click on Dogs in Summer, and I come down here and I click on Desktop Background, you see all of these pictures that are checked? Those pictures are going to rotate through, as you learned in changing your desktop background training video, that when you have more than one selected, you can have them rotate out every, well, 15 minutes or hour or day. So all that's going to be saved in a single file. Now if I come in here and I go ahead and clear all and just select one and then I click save changes of course now it's a new theme it's not the original theme it's an unsaved theme and I can go ahead and right click and save that and call it my and then click save so if I go ahead and this is the active theme and I right click and I save that theme for sharing instead of saving all of the pictures as it would in this theme because all of them are selected to rotate out every 15 minutes this one only has one picture, so the file is going to be smaller. And of course, this one's the smallest because it has no pictures. It just has a simple background color. Okay, let me click off in a blank area. 
Go ahead and click minimize that down to the taskbar. Oh, look at the poochie. What a cute woofy. And there's my theme. When you hover over it, Gosh, it's not even a megabyte. It's like 1.42 kilobytes. And as you recall, this is a theme that we downloaded in the customized theme training video from the Microsoft website. And you can see that one is several hundred times larger than this one. Well, it's 6.3 megabytes, a lot larger than this one because this one, we just have one desktop background color, blue, and this one has all the desktop background pictures and, of course, any sounds or themes that come with it. All you have to do now is go ahead and just send an email and attach this theme or if you have other themes attach them and shoot them off to your friends or burn them to a CD or a flash drive and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for all my training, please visit me at my website dreamforce.us.